Hey guys, <clears throat> excuse me, it is Margaret Texas Gal Treasures and I am here today to bring you this video about how I created these images for uh, making merch by Amazon shirts using a multiple methods starting with the Adobe Capture app and then bringing it into some other programs to create some more abstract or colorful designs. So I wanted to share my process with you uh, for those things. But for, before I jump in, um, I want to invite you guys to come and follow me on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures. I also have a, have a thrifting group called International League of Thrifters. And I want to thank my patrons over on Patreon for supporting me and getting shirts every month from me. Um, thank you so much, Merch Design Maker and Reseller Niche Podcast for being sponsors of the show. So now let me flip back to me. If I can't, I'm using the OBS system, so I am still figuring it out. There I am. Hello, everybody. Wait. Let me do it like this. Okay, there I am. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, let me, again, I have a bazillion um, windows open, so bear with me one second while I make sure everything is looking right and sounding right over on the page where it is. Okay, it is. Good. Okay. So, hello. How's it going, everybody? This is, it looks like a really weird process. Well, I guess when I look at it, it's like a, a weird process to create these um, designs on using Adobe Capture and all this stuff. But anyway, I, I shared that in the group, this, um, hang on, let me switch over. So this design where I created the octopus and um, changed it in all these different ways. And I wanted to wait until I got the shirt in the mail because I ordered one because I had some people say, oh, well, if you do this, it's going to turn out all pixelated or um, I don't know. So I was like, okay, well, that's a good point. Fair point. Let me get it and see how it turns out. So I ordered one and this is how this octopus shirt turned out. So not too bad. There's a little bit around the edges where the black isn't exactly the same kind of color black, but overall it looked not too bad. There it is. There it is. Not too, too bad. Uh, so that's the shirt. Um, and let me get started first with the the programs that I use. The first one uh, is an app for your phone called Adobe Capture. It is a free app. You don't have to, I mean, you might have to sign up to create an Adobe account um, there, but you don't have to have a paid Adobe CC or any of this stuff. Um, so that is the, where I started, and that's something that is really fun to play with. I'll show you a couple. No, actually, one of the other things I'm showing you is not from Adobe Capture, but I've created some other shirts from using the Adobe Capture app. And my sister, I introduced to my sister who has been taking stuff having to do with beekeeping because she couldn't find some of the clip art that she would have liked for some of the equipment and some of the themes on the shirt she wanted. So I was like, girl, here, pull up this app, Adobe Capture app, you take the picture and then you can create an image from the picture and uh, go with it that way. So she's she's been enjoying that. So, okay, so there's that. That's the first thing that I'm going to talk about. Um, so I took this picture. Let me make me a little bit smaller so you can see. I am live, so let me say hi in the chat real quick um, to some friends that are here. Um, I, I wanted to do this live because sometimes I skip steps, and this way people, if you're here, friends in the chat can say, oh, wait, wait, slow down. I didn't quite get that because I get ahead of myself. Um, so hello, Florida's Hidden Treasures and Ron Reddick. Hi, Carol's Gift Shop. Hello, Valerie and Nick and Andrea Hills are there. Hello, Leslie and my friend Michael is there. Hello, Clarence Ninja Rope and Reseller and Jenny. Hello, everybody. Okay, so here we go. Um, this image is a little teeny toy octopus that was one of my boy's toys, right? Um, Tip number one for using Adobe Capture when you do this, try to get a, a, like a solid background. We were having some problems with when we were with my sister um, taking a picture and we were having trouble. I mean, we got we had we finally had to get a sheet to put behind the item that we were taking a picture of because if you have a background like we were, there was the siding on the house and so all the wood grain was showing up and like, oh, that's a pain in the backside to have to go in through and erase. Now, I just signed up for Adobe um, Creative Commons. I haven't even played with it yet, so I'm sure that some of the things I'm doing here um, I'll be able to do quicker when I learned how to use Adobe. So 
Um, clearance and interesting are all these apps free. The ones that I'm going to show you, all but one is free, and one of them is the one that there's probably another way to do it that is free. Okay, so uh, Adobe Capture, yes, for sure, is free. So I took the picture, and then this is what it um, created, which is a great shirt in its in an in and of itself. This cool octopus graphic that I now have that I didn't have to go buy um, this or find one, you know. So I have my own octopus that I can use, and then I created this artsy fartsy <laughs> design with it. All right, so let's get on with what I did. So I took the image that came back from Adobe Capture. I emailed it to myself and then uploaded it. The, the, the program that I use, let me switch over. Bum, 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 finding the right one. This, I, I'm still getting the hangout of this. Oh, you know what? I have the chat too. So you, oh, There's the chat. There, like I say, I'm still getting the hang of everything. So um, bump this up because this is what I want. So this is the, and this might be too busy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the chat away for right now because I think it's kind of busy. Down, down, down you go. Where you stop, nobody knows because it's not going. Um, hang on. There we go. Okay. So the first place that I took the image was this um, website I like to use called Clipping Magic. And Clipping Magic basically knocks out the background for you. And I know that I will be able to do this in Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop? I don't even know yet because I haven't learned it yet. Um, a lot easier, but since I don't know Adobe, this was the way I went. I do pay a monthly fee for Clipping Magic, but I use it all the time. So that was fine with me. Um, I'm looking, Adobe Creative CC, Create Digital Assets. I'm not quite sure what that means. Um, when you do sign up for Adobe, I'm not sure what that is. Um, we, because I signed up for the Adobe Suite or whatever it is that I signed up for, I have cloud access. So now I can store these because they're all tied together. I can store them in the cloud. Um, so I went through here and I took out all of the background, all of the white. Um, so it was a bit of a pain on some of the smaller little bits because I had to do that manually and mark, you know, the red. Red goes away and the, the green is what stays. But it, it worked out and it turned out to look really nice. So when I did that, now I have this image that I took to this program called Lunapic right here. Lunapic. Photoshop. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> I knew somebody would know. Um, Lunapic is a really fun, free uh, website that I also use frequently just to play around with different filters and can add some fun and an interest to some of the graphics that you use. So here we go. Hang on, my throat's getting dry. Okay, tip that took me a while to figure out is that when you want to upload an image to Lunapic, it, it's hard to figure out here. You have to go to this, um, what is it? It took me a while. Multi up upload multiple images. Don't try to upload multiple images because it all compile, compiles them into one like thing and it just so do one at a time. I that I can't figure out any other way. So yeah, oh, maybe this is it because I didn't click this. Because when I got it, I always animated the images together, and I was like, ah, oh, that's not what I want. So anyway, I just didn't play with it very much. So I'll take my octopus. Let me see if I can find the right one. You can see I have all of these ones that I did for fun. So okay, took my octopus. Here he is, and I'm gonna drop him in. Um. Ron Reddick says, may I suggest checking out Inkscape as an alternative to AI, free vector software compares to AI. Oh, cool. Um, oh, well, that's, okay, I'll check that out, Ron. Thank you so much. I, I haven't checked it out yet. Okay, so I am now uploading my octopus with a transparent background. <laughs> hey. Um, so here it is. So he, can y'all see that okay? No, let me fit that to the screen. I am going to fit this to the screen. I am hoping it will work. Let's find out together. Boom. And it didn't. But that's okay. You get a song. You get a song and dance with it, right? Because I'm the song and dance man. I'm going to make it work. Hang on. But it's just not going to. I'm trying to get it where you can see it. Hang on. <laughs> where you can see the whole thing. Why is it doing this? One sec. One second. So we're just going to go with it. You'll be able to see it. And 
that will just be that. Hang on. There. How's it looking? Well, you can kind of see it. Is it scrolling for you? Good. Okay. So basically here, what I'm going to do is select, a, um, there's a few different things that you can do. There's filters, there's effects, and like here, let's say you want to do a rainbow effect on it. It'll, it, it, this one covers up the whole area. So you'll have to go back and after effects to go and fix this uh, if you want to do this. And I'll show you later what I did um, on another image doing using this effect. So I want to undo this. But you can go through and play around with all kinds of different, you know, overlay flags and things like that on it. Uh, you just have to kind of play with it. Okay, where's some more filters? So yeah, all different kinds of filters. But the one that I did on a lot of them were these art filters. So let's say I want to do a fairy filter on my octopus. So let's see what he's going to turn out to look like when we're done. So here's the fairy filter on my octopus. So, oh, hey, thanks so much, Gwen Johnson, for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, thank you very much for that. And I'm looking, Lynn, I'm not sure what Lynn was asking. Is that, in, are you talking about Inkscape? Okay, I'm not sure about that. Okay, so if this was a design that you would that you liked, then you would have to go back after the fact and uh, clean up all the area around it, you know, or else you would, if you try to upload this right onto a shirt, you would have like this big rectangle on the shirt. So this is what I did when I created this shirt, you know, I used the filters and then I took it back over to Clipping Magic and I knocked out the background that I didn't want and then this was the final image that I ended up with. So it's kind of fun going through and playing with it. Um, make sure you undo the effect before you try out another one. So let's see. Let's try Tattoo. I think the one that I have in my hands is the graffiti one. Uh-oh, what happened? There we go. So here's the Tattoo effect. Can y'all see that? So there's all, all different effects that you can try. Some of them work, some of them don't. But it gives a little bit blood rain. I don't remember this one. This one might be new. Oh, oh that's an animation one. Oopsies. Um, that's not going to work. <laughs> Maybe that's why I never saw it. Okay, uh, let's do, ta uh, where did it go? Graffiti, because I think that's the one I've got here is graffiti. Inkscape is free, Rope and Reseller says. Yeah, here's the one I have, you know, here is the graffiti one. So that's how my shirt turned out when I used the graffiti. So is that the graffiti? Maybe it is. The colors are not quite as bright, I don't think. Um, but pretty cool. I mean, it gives you some options and maybe will help create a little bit of a, you know, creating your own graphics, creating some, something a little different. So I don't know if I, if I'm missing, I feel like that went really fast, faster than I thought it would. Um, hi Neville. Hello. hello. <laughs> He's going off to bed. I hope you're feeling well. Or is it just bedtime? Uh, so, I wanted to share with you a couple of the listings. This one I finally just put up. I put the links down below, but I created this one with the octopus, and I used um, different colors and just uploaded this, this guy, but I can also use them later, pardon me, to create, you know, other designs with words and text and everything. Um, so, like, here you go. Here he is. He's bright green. Very cool. I don't know. I think he's cool. Hey, yay! I got a, a, a sale. Uh, 3 a.m. Neville says, yikes. Um, here's my abstract octopus one. Again, I put all of the links for these down below. And then I want to show you this one that I did. So this is a trilobite that I uh, created using the rainbow filter on, um, on Lunapic. So let me go see. Let me go grab that real fast so you can see it. Bum, 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 bum. Hello. I'm sure I'm missing people in the chat. So let me find the uh, graphic that I did for the trilobite. And I've done a few others that were that were kind of fun that I can show you. Um, let me do this one too, just for fun. So I took this here. You can see it. Okay, this trilobite, and, and it was a public domain image, and I dropped it into 
the Lunapic, you know, uploaded into Lunapic, and then I chose that rainbow filter. Where did it go? Um, filter. Come on now. Here it is. All right. So I chose this rainbow filter, and then I took it. Hello, Joe, my friend, Rich University. Um, so I took it like this, and then I put it over. And again, I know that once I learn um, Illustrator, Photoshop, I'll be able to do this lickety split, but I didn't. So I dropped it over here into Clipping Magic, which I know how to use, and took out the outside part of the trilobite. And so I ended up with this rainbow trilobite, which I have uploaded onto merch. Um, I've sold one of these. Now I have a few different versions up, so I'm not sure if the one that I shared here is the one that sold because I have like a really big one, like this is the big one, and then I have one that's got a smaller one on there. So anyway, those are some other things to play with. Oh, this is one I did. <laughs> there's a way in there's a there's a I mean if you get in the Lunapic, trust me, there's so many different filters and things you can do. I got this where'd the pickle go? I got this picture of a pickle. I mean, it's just a pickle. When I and then there's a way to put it into Lunapic where it breaks it up and makes it look like like a mosaic with all these little snapshots, you know? Um, can you see the whole thing? Anyway, so it looks like this rainbow pickle snapshot thing. I don't know. I was just playing with it. I was like, this is fun. All right, so it turned out like this, but it did have all the white, you know, the background and everything. So I just knocked it all out and had this crazy pickle pickle picture. Um, <laughs> Thanks, guys. Um, you guys can't see the chat because I, I hit it. I don't know. Anyway. So, um, the uh, the shred guy, what did you do for keywords to promote that only graphic shirt? Do you mean the octopus or the, the which one do you mean? The, I mean, on, on my keywords, I just do the normal, you know, like here, my keywords on my rainbow trilobite, I get all of the like geology, fossil type stuff in there as much as I can. Um, same thing with my octopus. I get as many octopus type stuff, but then I thought, oh, this would be cool for the club too, like somebody's going to the club. I don't know if I put that in there. One of the other ones, oh no, here we go. Where this to the rave? Do people still rave? I don't know. Uh, perfect for the club or a trip to the aquarium, yeah. So. Uh, what are people searching to find those graphic shirt octopus or pickle? Um, yeah, I guess just anything that, you know, if they like octopus or pickles or if they like rainbow pickles, <laughs> which some people probably do. So anyway, just, you know, it's a, it's a conversation starter. A lot of these graphic tees are, come on, if you saw somebody with this rainbow pickle shirt, that's a conversation starter. And if you're in a certain kind of club, it might be a double conversation starter. <laughs> so um, that is what I do. Again, I thought this was going to take a lot longer, but um, any questions? I'm going to go through real quick uh, some of the other filters that I applied on. How am I going to do this? Oh, there we go. Um, on the octopus, so you can see all the different, some of the different filters that I was able to Ooh, that looks fancy when I go fast. Um, so here we go. I'm going to just go through what I, some of the different ones that I did. Um, Neville says, when I was a bit younger, we held a party night with a few drinks and each created a complete pickle family just for fun. We even had to come up with names of all of them. How fun. Do I ever use photographs? I have used, my son yesterday was wearing his, he has a shirt called I Love Pickles. And... The the photo the the pickle that we used on that was a photograph of a pickle. So it and it turned out okay. If he was here, I would tell him to bring me that shirt. But I mean, it's starting to fade. But it, you know, okay. So here we go. These are some of the different um, ways that this turned out. Or is it showing up the whole thing? Okay, good. So um, Michael says thought Kraken was a good keyword. Someone done some researching for that listing. Oh, for me, <laughs> yes. Crack in all of the anything piratey or marine biology y. Um, so, yeah, this was the uploads I did. So, here's another version. Now, I haven't uploaded all of these. What about landscapes? I guess you could, yeah. Yeah, I, I used um, Adobe Capture. And, Joe, I thought you had done a video about Adobe Capture, and I was going to link it. 
I went to go grab it and I didn't find it. So, because I was like, oh, I didn't do a video for Adobe, like how to use Adobe Capture, because I was like, oh, Joe already did that. Go over and follow Merch University, y'all, if you're here watching. So here's another, um, so like I say, I did not upload all of these. I mean, I guess I could, but some of them didn't work out quite as well. This one's kind of fun. Some worked better than others, but if you try, I think this is the one I did. You know, try what you're working on and just play around with it. It's for fun, right? That one's kind of cool. Some of them, it's just, it's hard to even tell. I think this is, uh, is that the Escher? There's like an Escher one. This is like a Starry Night one. Lots of different fun ones to try. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you. That one's kind of cool. I think that one's x-ray. There's one that's an x-ray one. Very fun. Um, so yeah, if you are interested, that one looks like he's on fire. Uh, <laughs> Octopus on fire. So if you are interested, or if you're one of my patrons that is watching, I was working on my patron rewards last night. So my patrons, depending on the tier that they are on, or their level, why is that cat there? He doesn't belong. One of these things is not like the other. Um, yeah, I was working on my patron designs last night, so depending on the tier of patronage that you, uh, patron me, I don't know, then I create shirts for you each month. So go check it out if you're interested or if you're wanting to get some more shirt designs. It's, it's fun for me and fun for you. So here's one where I left the white in instead of taking all the white out. I haven't I used that one yet. So anyway... Those are the ones that I have, yeah, for fun, for cool. Okay, I'm going to close this. No, I'm not, because I don't know what's going to happen if I close that. Let me go back big. How can I make me big? There I go. Okay, so I hope you guys found that helpful. Again, uh, if you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. Make sure to go and like this video. If you have not yet, uh, subscribe to my channel. And the, the video that came out right before this one, I'm doing a giveaway because I am like this close to 12,000 subscribers and I wanted to do a big thank you. Um, so the, the drawing will be on Monday coming up where I'll be drawing for two shirt designs that I'm giving away. Um, you'll get the design, the keywords, the title, everything ready to go and upload. And then if you're not on merch, then I'm also doing two mystery boxes because that's the big craze right now. Uh, doing mystery boxes and they will be resellable items if you're a reseller. So not just garbage or a gumball or anything like that. So, <laughs> sure, guys, says I'm going to win. Again, I, I really thank all my patrons, and I'm working on finishing up my designs to send out to my patrons tonight. I actually have a, um, one, of, one of the things, hang on, let me go, one of the reward levels is doing a, a private or small group discussion about, you know, your designs, your keywords, and just brainstorming. I don't really... I don't really like the term mastermind because I don't feel like I'm a mastermind or maybe it would take all of us to be a mastermind. Anyway, but just a small group getting together once a month. Um, so Mo and I are going to be getting together. and um, So he's the only one on that level for July. In, in August, it'll be a different story. But in July, um, Mo and I will be coming on. He wants to do it live. So we're going to have a live, you know, just go through stuff. I don't even know. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, so definitely if you're interested, you're trying to uh, get some more ideas or have somebody look at your stuff, you know, go over and check me out on Patreon. So I know I'm pushing it, but, but it's fun. I'm like, and, and you get designs and it's awesome. So let's see. Lynn says, Margaret, sometimes you go so fast. I can't get the steps written <laughs> down. Do you ever list the steps for the apps you use? Um, I don't, but it's something that I could do. I could definitely, I mean, because, again, I've started my website, texasgaltreasures.com. My kids are still home from for summer, so it's hard for me to get to everything. So I'm trying to create a um, a post, you know, or a, a, on my website for, like, a supplemental for the videos for that kind of thing. Like, you know, if I list something out, like, I'll have the video and then I'll have the steps. Um, but I haven't been able to get to everything, so... That will be coming soon. Yes. All right. Again, 
go over there and hit that subscribe button if you're interested in catching me live. If you're watching later, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button and you can be here and meet all these wonderful people in the chat who will become your best friends <laughs> because they're awesome. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. And I will talk to you guys later. Only now I forgot how to close this thing. Where's the hero when I need him? <laughs> He's the one that's helping me with how to do all this OBS stuff. Okay. Okay. I found it. I found it. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. And thank you again for the super chat. Uh, I really appreciate it. It helps a lot, Gwen Johnson. Um, so thank you and have a great weekend. And Joe, I will see you in two shakes of a lamb's tail because Saturday is March. You meet up in Oklahoma City. Bye, everybody.